now. Okay, uh, welcome. Friday morning, Wisdom Weekly, Wisdom Builders team only call. Another uh, awesome Friday here, November, well, not November, but January 4th, I think it is. We're four days into the new year. And I was, as I was just sharing with those of you that were on early, um, I've never been more excited about the year ahead uh, after spending some time this week really uh, thinking long and hard about the year and beyond ahead and what's in future, what's in the future for Neolife and uh, even more specifically our Wisdom Builders team, part of which you're going to get to hear a little glimpse of uh, uh, this is just one little piece of the puzzle today that you're going to get to hear of why I'm so excited, but and by no means is is the whole story, um, but but a part of it. Uh, I'm just fired up and excited. Uh, what we're going to be doing this quarter, if you don't know, is going through a uh, book called GoPro. Many of you are probably familiar with it. A lot of you have probably read it, but this book right here, I would call it Network Marketing 101. There's a chapter for every week of the next 12 weeks of this quarter, and uh, if you don't have the book, get the book. If you've never read it, you absolutely need to read it and sh and will wish you have read it like probably before you even got started in the business. And for those of us that have read it a time or two or three, like many other great books and uh, things that we've watched and read and heard, there's always things to glean and learn from it. So I'm so excited to get to go back through it now. It's been probably, I don't know, close to two years since I've read it the last time and I'm super fired up about going through it. I think you will be too. Super easy read. Every single chapter has an applicable message that we can actually take right then and there to, the, to our business and apply it. And um, if you're serious about growing your business this quarter, like I know you are, or you wouldn't be on this call, I highly recommend you buy it or find it if you've got it somewhere in your house and start reading it. So we're gonna start on uh, chapter one next week, this coming week. And uh, I'd recommend you reading through it with us because I hope this quarter to get to um, bring in the book and some lessons from the book uh, and some applications from the book into these Friday, not every Friday, but into some of these calls throughout this quarter. And if you're up to speed on the book and even better yet, applying what you're learning in the book, it's going to be way more productive for you. It, you know, the entertainment value will be there, but we're not here to be entertained. I don't think maybe partly but we're here to um, make an impact and make money and grow a business and you know, improve our, the quality of life for our families and impact others on, on in the process and get healthier and all the reasons that we're here and for community uh, and purpose and, and all that. So um, that's the book. We had an amazing December, amazing December. Um, December is one of the more challenging months historically throughout the year we had um, we had some step ups throughout the wisdom builders team. We had so many people that literally you guys had their best month ever, not just their best December ever, but their best month ever in the business. And I'm not just talking about people that have been in the business for three months, you know, or two months, uh, people that have been in for months, sometimes some cases for years, but, uh, many, many people had their best month ever that I'm aware of in December. It was great. Um, as evidenced maybe partly by looking at the 90 days of summer, which before I turn it over to Josh here, I wanted to show you that real quick. Um, the month, the 90 days of fall, sorry, not summer, the 90 days of fall closed out and check this out. And I just want to do a quick promo for next week's story because you will not want to miss it. Trust me. Okay. You will not want to miss this. Ready? Check this out. That right there is the 90 days of, of fall. Final. And I'm going to come back to the number one, Jeff and LV Pena, legal name Elba, but LV, uh, Jeff and LV Pena, number one, number three, Jason and Julie Bowling, Tulare, California, Paul and Kim Christmas, number four, also in Tulare, California, uh, Latasha Bond, or Latasha Williams, uh, number six, Tony Simmons, number seven, Joel and Gabby Merritt, uh, in Indianapolis, uh, number 10, Micah and Heather Clark, number 11 in Georgia, Cindy and John Hicks, number 12, Bart and Cassie Gant, number 13, California, Julia and Eric Nelson, number 14 in Georgia and Alan and Laura McClinton. I don't know where they live, but awesome. I think they're newer in the business and already in the top 20. Can't wait to meet them. Number 19, 
And that, you all, is 11, I, I said this on the Wisdom Builders uh, Facebook group, but it's a, it's a record. We never, that I know of, that I've noticed, had 11 of the top 20 slots in the 90 days of anything, let alone 90 days of fall. Um, we had six out of the top 10. We had first place. And get this, I posted it, but in case you missed it, we, when we want to stretch our minds to what is possible, and be encouraged, remember this story. Jeff and LV Pena were in second place on the last day of the month, which was Wednesday, two days ago, uh, January 2nd. And they were behind by six points, 72 to 78. They went out and when I was ready to go to bed, California, or Central Time, they had signed up six people on that, in that last day, six club members, and it had gone up to 84 points, I think it was. So they were leading 84-78 when I was, I was ready to go to bed. That's a pretty cushy lead, I would think, with a couple hours left on the last day of the month, 84-78. But they didn't stop. They went on and signed up another four or five people and went all the way up to 91 points, from 72 to 91. That's 19 points in a day. And had they not done that, they would not have got their goal of first place because you can see second place is one point behind them with 90. And you're going to get to hear more about that story, what they're doing, how they did it on next Friday's call. So don't miss next Friday's call. And um, anyway, but congratulations to all 11 of you that are in the top 20 and the rest of you that had any Achievers Club points and made an impact in one or more pe person's life. So I'm so excited about all that's happening throughout the team. And I see so many names and faces on the screen right now. And I'm seeing best months ever uh, all over the place that, that is of, of you, so several of you that are on this call. So, and you know who you are. Hopefully you know who you are. I know who you are, at least many of you. Um, so without further ado, I am want to any, before I turn it over to Josh, is there anyone, any brand new promoters that are on this call that would love to introduce themselves, or maybe you know of a brand new promoter you have on this call that you would like to introduce? I'll take pause for one quick minute. If you yes, Alan. Yes, sir. I actually have my son, Alex Pena, who's also on the call. He's a new promoter, and this month I know he's gonna be getting his sports pack for free, getting his commission check. So yeah, he's just soaking right now, and he's on the call. Sweet. Hey, Alex, thank you, Jeff Pena. Alex Pena, can you unmute? Would you mind just uh, spending 20 seconds or so and introducing yourself and telling us, I know a little about you, but tell everyone else a little about you and why you're so excited to be a part of this? Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Alex Pena, and um, I've just been in the business for a little while. Uh, but I am really excited with just everything that Neo life really has to offer, and um, I really believe in what uh, Neo life stands for, and I um, I'm really excited um, just to help people uh, better their lives, change lives, and um, you know just go on through this journey. So you know, I just want to say uh, hello, everyone, <laughs> and awesome. um, you know, let's let, let's have some fun. So. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Alex. And you're getting your, uh, did, did your dad just say you're getting your sports pack for free already? Is that what he I said? Am, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, congratulations. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You guys will enjoy meeting Alex like I did. Uh, very uh, sharp, mid, mid to early 20s. I'm not sure exactly Alex's age, but sharp, sharp, high quality uh, young man, you'll, you'll all enjoy getting to meet him in person at rally or convention or wherever you all get to meet him at. So thank you for uh, anyone else, anyone else real quick. And then we'll jump to Josh. Can't wait for uh, Josh's message here. We got some, he's got some great tips and some exciting news to share with you all. All right. Going once, going twice. Josh, can't wait to hear about serving as living trip and the incentive everyone gets to be a part of and some tips on how we can make this year our best year yet. So, uh, Without further ado, I'm turning it over to you, sir. Thank you, Alan. Good morning, everyone. It's an exciting day to be alive. Blessed to be with you all this morning. And I do have some exciting things to share with you. But uh, you know what? I, first, let me say, I, I really believe that we are blessed. We are blessed to, to be alive. It's, it's a great day to be a wisdom builder. Uh, we're blessed to not live in pale 
and timid times, but have the opportunity to choose our destiny, to choose what our future is going to be, to fight for freedom for ourselves, for our families, and doing so to maximize our impact as social entrepreneurs. Isn't that exciting? You know, I, these things are worth, I believe, you got to ask yourself, but I believe these things are worth fighting for, they're worth sacrificing for, and that's why I'm all in. And, uh, you know, I want you to all ask, that, ask yourself that question as we start this new year. It's what you're fighting for. It's what you're striving for. Is it, worthy, is it worthy of your all? Is it worthy of your devotion, your passion, your enthusiasm? Um, I believe it is. And uh, I want to just echo Alan uh, before I, a few things I want to uh, cover quickly before I get into serving as living. Um, and uh, but the first thing I just want to say is, uh, Alan, I agree with you. What an incredible, talk about being a great time to be a wisdom builder, to see 12 out of 20 uh, in the top 20. That, that, that's amazing, 90 days of fall, because being in there is absolutely crucial toward, you know, um, actually putting some action behind the talk, behind, you know, the um, mission to end the trend, to end the trend of sickness and poverty. You know, it's great to talk about it, but until we get off our, you know, our, our rusty dusty and do something about it, it's just all talk. And I, nothing, you know, talk's just depressing when there's not backed by action. We've all been there, trust me, I've been there. So congrats to all of you who backed that goal, backed that talk with some action and got out there and did it. And when I, when I think about Jeff and Elvie, you know, I think about that four minute mile. I mean, the, the first guy to break the four minute mile, um, and uh, John and Elvie, um, you may not be the first person to, to be first place in the 90 days of fall, but you know what? You are the only person this last 90, that last 90 days to be number one. And uh, for you to go out there and have the faith and believe to say at the beginning of the quarter, to even to have the courage to say, I'm going for number one. I mean, just to have the courage to say that, you know, most of us um, you know, really we need to be challenged by you. I need to be challenged by you. I love it. I love it. I constantly need to be surrounded by people like you. That's awesome. Uh, I had the courage to say it, and then the, the courage to actually follow through and to put it all on the line to the last moment. Your wife said, John, four hours of sleep. Um, I love it. These things are worth fighting for. They're worth striving for. They're worth even sacrificing everything for, And because uh, you've impacted lives in a great big way. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for showing us that we can too. If you can do it, so can we. You've raised the bar. And uh, I think everyone would join me in saying, we're fired up. Okay, we're going to all do more. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, LB. I can't wait to meet your son, Alex. I know he's a, a chip off the block. Got to be. Great guy. Can't wait to get to know him. Um, Y'all, I'll tell you something. A quick, can I share with you that's a quick, quick thing I wrote, goal I wrote down when Chelsea and I spent a couple days uh, planning and setting goals and all. I think this Wisdom Builders is going to keep on leading the way in North America. And eventually, I think you guys are going to lead the way around the world. And, um, you know, it's, uh, but, you know, the real, the real challenge, the real contest, the real reason we must strive to challenge one another is so that we can pursue this mission to end the trend. You know, our competition is the people outside, not the competition in the team, not the competition of other teams. We're all in this together to win by ending the trend. But I think uh, we, we've got to step up and lead the way. Uh, I think we're going to see three people earning a million dollars a month within the Wisdom Builder organization. A million a month in this business. Uh, I, ha I have a goal. I have a dream of seeing that, you know, initially three, and then 12 people earning over a million a year, and over 100 people earning over $100,000 a year. And, uh, you know, where you're supposed to be in that, I don't know. And uh, I'm, I'm happy for those who say, I want to earn $1,000 a month, and, you know, and I want to be a part of this wisdom builder team and I want to be a part of encouraging, inspiring others to be their best. And whether you're making a thousand a month or a million a month, um, I appreciate you so much. And we need people at every one of those levels. And uh, those of you who say, you know, a thousand is enough for me or three is, you know, you're going to inspire that person that goes out there and does a million a month. And you could be the catalyst. To, you might be the recruit. You might recruit them. Although if you recruit them, you're going to be earning more than that. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, anyway, it's exciting. We're all playing such important roles. Thank you for all that you're doing and contributing. Um, how many of us would like to have a, a magic breakthrough uh, year this year? I, I, think, I think that all of us would. And I just want to remind us. You know, I just took a couple notes listening to podcasts the other day, and 
you know, let's not look, be looking like too often we have, we all have, have at one time or another for something flashy, something shiny, something new. You know, let's choose to be enthusiastic about what we have and let's choose to be like other successful people that simply do consistently what other people do occasionally. This business is, I mean, Jeff and LV, I think when you hear them talk next week, you're gonna find out that what they did is the basic things. You know, the three daily success habits. The difference was they did it consistently and they're continuing to do it. And we know they'll continue in the next 90 and they'll continue to lead the way, just consistent actions. Um, so consistent actions produce consistent results. So, you know, let's just, uh, let's challenge ourselves to be enthusiastic about the basic things. And it might sound boring. You know, I love, I, I, I listened to that podcast and the guy said, you know what? Great leaders um, in, in a certain way, they're actually, they're kind of boring. You know, they're boring. But you know what? They're, the results that they're getting is anything but boring. <laughs> the impact they're having is anything but boring. But, you know, you think there's something really exciting, really magical. No, no, it's really not. You know, they just have structure and rules. And you heard me talk about that last week. But uh, so moving along, um, you know, accountability. I just want to encourage us. Let's set our goals. If you haven't already, let's set a couple things you really want to achieve before the year is out. And then let's get some accountability in place. Um, I love this. I love this. Um, I wrote down some time ago. It says accountability separates the wishers in life from the action takers who care enough about their future. And I might add others as well um, to account, account for their daily actions. So I know uh, the corporate success teams kick off on Monday. Some of you are on that. Others are on, um, you know, other success teams are just perfect. If your upline's running one, get on that. If not, you're welcome to join me. Um, but, uh, you know, it's really about uh, to give an account for our daily actions. And yes, it's kind of scary, but man, you know what? Face, acting in spite of fear is what separates those who really impact and change lives and those who only dream about it, right? Um, BOC, if you want to jot this down, I, I bet many of you are going to Breakfast of Champions uh, tomorrow. Some of you are doing it the next Saturday. If you're not, let me challenge you right now. Start a Breakfast of Champions. It's as simple as throwing a, a couple shakes in a blender, you know, having a can of shake in a blender or a shaker bottle, it's that simple. And just reading through the Breakfast of Champions um, that's already prepared for you, the, the agenda, the layout, the talking points, it's all done. It's made to, where you can just print it out and walk right into your meeting and facilitate it, okay? So I wanna encourage you to do that. And uh, the challenge for you is, the second challenge is, Go through the checklist of 10 things that you can control, the control, the controllables list. And I want to challenge you to check off as many of those 10 as, you, as, you, as you'll dare to, to check off because you can control, you absolutely can, can control that. Nothing's, you know, there's, there's nothing out of your control in that list. It's up to you. Okay, now rally, before I uh, get into the, uh, the other thing that I'm that's serving as living trip that I'm so excited about, I want to, I want to, I want to ask you a question. I, I, maybe get you thinking about rally in a fresh new way. Are you open to that? Are you open to you know a fresh new maybe perspective, a way of viewing uh, what needs to be done between now and the next rally? All right. Well, I was thinking about it uh, early this morning, and I thought, what is rap? What is? Why is it so important that people get people to rally? I mean, it's like you know it's important, but but I was thinking, how could I? What have I witnessed? What's the reward that I've seen in my own life, um, in our own business, by getting people to an event like this? So sometimes it's hard to, you know, I think the hard part about being an entrepreneur is, is we have to look further than two weeks. You know, most of us can't see, we, str we struggle to see beyond the next paycheck at our job two weeks later. Okay, now all of you are seeing beyond that and challenging yourself to see beyond that or else you wouldn't be on this call, right? So kudos to you, congratulations. But you know, it's a challenge and it's a muscle that we got to grow of having a vision that goes beyond, you know, two weeks from now, the, the, the immediate gratification. And so I thought about it like this, what if, what if I told you that every person you got to rally would be worth between 500 and $1,000 for the rest of your life? How many people would you get there? If I told you that every single person, just imagine this for a moment, just go along with me. If you, if you believe that every single person that 
paying, but it would be worth five hundred to a thousand dollars residual income every single month for the rest of your life. How many people would you get to rally? Guess what? I've been blessed to earn residuals like that on people that I got to events simply because I got them to the event and have been earning that on them for over 20 years. Okay, and I didn't have to go find some piece of property to buy and make a major risk and, you know, and, and, and put in a ton of work and, and all that and be able to get financing and all that stuff. And, and I was able to do that pretty quickly. Many of those, it happened, it happened pretty quickly. Now, I say it quit pretty quickly, a whole lot less than 15 to 30 years to pay off a piece of real estate so you could get 500 to 1,000 on that property, you know, in, in most average, most cities across America. Isn't that amazing? I've seen that happen in three to six months, kind of residual, reach 500 to 1,000 and earn that for, for decades. So, you know, I, that's how I think you should be seeing rally. And uh, the only difference, I'm going to say it again, between the wealthy and the average person is that the wealthy person invests today in their future, and the average person is like a rat chasing cheese that can only see two weeks ahead. So are you going to be a rat, or are you going to be a successful entrepreneur who's building a business for the future and is willing to make some investments right now and go all out? getting people to the next event. And it's not just true of rally, it's true of other events as well. It's just the rally and convention give people the biggest, best opportunity to get the big picture. Okay, now let's see, uh, keep an eye on the time here. Let's talk about, and something to think on though. Will you think on that one? Will you think on that? How would you act differently? What would you do differently? How would your goal change as far as how many people you're gonna get to rally if you viewed it that way? And remember, for some of you, this is gonna mean even more to you. It could be the difference in life and death. Okay, it could be the difference in life and death for that person. It really could. It really could. When Dr. Applegate gives her multiple talks, you know, it literally could be that. So anyway, moving along. Serving is living. So this is something I'm really excited about. Some of you were at the Wisdom Builder Retreat in uh, November where I told you that I, my son and I were going on a scouting trip to check out uh, what we thought was gonna be our, uh, our destination for the Serving is Living, where we were gonna do that uh, mission serving trip. And uh, it has been, I'll tell you this, I won't bore you with these details, but it's a praise report. I am so grateful for y'all's encouragement, for some of you who kept asking me about it, encouraged me through the process. It has been a lot harder than I ever thought it was gonna be to try to put this together. And in many ways, I'll be honest with you, we are literally together blazing new trails, okay? When it comes to even trying to do a trip like this. It is one thing for a youth group to all get together in a church and say, we're gonna go over for a week to some country and, and serve. It is a whole entirely another thing to try to put together um, a trip comprised of families all over uh, North America and, uh, and try to figure out what this could look like to put together a serving as living trip and something that we could build on for the future. And I won't bore you with the details, but I hit so many roadblocks, so many challenges. Um, I mean, whether it was countries that went into uh, upheaval and it be, I realized it became you know, dangerous where it just wouldn't be right of me to ask somebody in our business you know, that maybe doesn't feel necessarily called to be a missionary or anything like that, but, but uh, is, is totally excited and open-minded to going on a serving trip, you know, with us. Um, I, I feel a, a lot more responsibility for this trip than I feel if I take my wife and kids uh, on a, a mission trip. I mean, and some of you may think that's irresponsible of me, but that's, you know, that's another discussion. But um, this, is, this is really a different kind of trip. And so anyway, after tons of uh, conversations, lots of investigation, lots of getting excited and then hitting roadblocks. Um, in fact, in last month, going to Costa Rica and uh, checking out a place that I first checked out, the first place I hadn't even checked out three years ago. When I got there, I just realized it, it could work, but it just didn't feel like it was where we were supposed to be. And, uh, and then it all came together. It's unbelievable. I'm actually at that, at that place in San Ramon, and the next morning, I'm talking with the ladies running an orphanage. Uh, in fact, I'm talking with, with somebody, 
And then she says to me, you need to meet someone else. She calls the person, hands the phone and says, I just think you're supposed to meet each other. I just think, I don't know where it's going. I just think you're supposed to talk to her. I'm like, hello, like, who is this? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I started sharing a little bit of the vision, a little bit of our heart, where we're wanting to go. And, and uh, I learned she runs an orphanage. And anyway, just, you got, she said, you got to meet so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and I'm really, okay. So I already had plans that Sunday. Uh, to go to church with somebody else. But anyway, I go to visit that Neolife actually promoter um, outside of Hako and I'm staying with them for, for a couple of days. And I said, you know what? Uh, what are we doing this Sunday? I told you to go to church. And he said, well, you know, I was going to talk to you about that. You know, you might should go to this other church. I said, man, it gives me the freedom. I feel like I'm supposed to go to this other church. And, uh, and then sure enough, long story short, man, I got to speed this up. Long story short, uh, I post on Facebook. I'm like, hey guys, what should my son and I do before we leave Costa Rica? And then the third person says, you need to go to Horizon Church. You got to go check this out. A lady actually on one of my success teams. And, uh, and then I show up and somebody else walks up to me, the best friend of one of the guys I work out with regularly and says, hey, are you Josh? <laughs> and just thing after, it's like finally, it was all falling right into place. The things that I had written down that I was hoping that this would bring together, um, and what it would look like is just, anyway, I can't, you can tell I'm a little bit excited. I expect there will still be challenges. I it just got off the phone, an hour phone call with Ocean's Edge Ministry that we're going to be partnering with. And I still realize we're breaking new ground. And I still realize we're going to grow and this will develop. And the second year will even be more exciting and we'll get this thing together. And, you know, we'll, we'll actually, um, we'll build together. We'll grow this thing together. But really, really exciting. So anyway, we're going to Hako. Uh, Hako is, a, um, is a, a small town on the coast. It's known for surfing. Okay, that's the positive. Great, great surfing. Love that. Um, it, well, that wasn't a requirement, but that was one of those nice to haves. Uh, it's, it's also, though, known for prostitution, for underage sex trafficking. It's known for drugs. And, uh, I, and, there's, a, and there's a lot of needs in this, in this little town. And there is this ministry called Ocean's Edge that has an incredible uh, facility. It's a whole crazy, crazy story how they came across it. In fact, they're still developing this place that we're going to be staying at. And, uh, you know, it's no five-star resort by, by any means, but it's a couple blocks from the beach. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's, we don't even know how much of it will be done before we get there. The first group is going to be small. Um, in fact, it's first come, first serve. Uh, as far as um, who wants to be a part of this with us, I'm going to share with you an incentive where we're even going to offer to help you with part of the cost, but you're going to have to go ahead and step up right away and say, you know, have faith and say, you know, I'm going to win this trip if, uh, if you're prepared to do so and go ahead and put down a deposit and give us a commitment, okay, on it. And we're going to go for, it's going to be an eight day trip right down the dates here. I'm going to post a flyer on Wisdom Builder later on today, but uh, I'll tell you this, it's going to be an eight day, seven night trip. We're going to go in on Saturday and we're going to fly into San Jose, Costa Rica. And uh, then we're going to do about a, about an hour drive, hour plus drive into uh, Hako. And, uh, and then we're going to go to option, you know, optional for, for people, but we'll go to, um, We'll go to um, church that morning, and uh, and then which is um, just Horizon. We're going to Horizon Church that morning, and then from there we're gonna we're gonna walk around the city, get to get familiar with the city, uh, and uh, we're gonna have um, opportunities to do everything from a um, like a camp within a community, a, a very impoverished uh, community, and go in, and we're gonna. Just uh, kind of love on the kids, do some activities, you know, and, and serve them, get to know them. And uh, we're going to have like one day, we're going to have a, um, a, 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 a beach bash where those who know how to surf can show, help the kids learn how to surf. And we're going to have games on the beach and we're going to roast hot dogs and marshmallows. And we're, in fact, we're going to ask everybody to help out bringing marshmallows down for that. Uh, things that they have a hard time getting down there. But um, anyway, we're going to put together all the activities. We're going to have one day that's going to be just fun where we're going to plan some activities for you. So you show up with a, with a, a willingness to be, you know, to, to love on others, be stretched, be challenged, enjoy new experiences. 
and uh, we're going to, it, it'll start again, we'll come in Saturday night, we'll go through the next Saturday, um, Friday, uh, again, we're going to have fun days in there, we're, we're going we're gonna to make sure it's, 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 it's a balance of serving and uh, refreshing at the, all at the same time. Uh, we'll have an optional, you could stay till Sunday if you want, but the trip will be an eight day, seven night with that one day option extension where we can stay in the same inexpensive lodging um, or, or not. Um, if I get very many people, that's, I, I bet a lot of people are gonna say, you know what, we're gonna kind of watch how the first one goes. Awesome, perfect, great. Um, if, but if we get more people than we can handle for the one week, then I'm gonna stay for two weeks and we'll have two groups. Uh, the first uh, group will be the June 8th to the 15th. The second group, if I need to, will be the first through the 8th, okay? Um, let's talk about the incentive for a moment. And then, uh, and then Alan, I'm also going to give you a chance to, to ask me any questions that you want, and then we can open up for, for those who, who want to stay, stay on, but we'll want to wrap this up in a couple minutes. So um, one of the things that, that I'm really excited about is this business. Let me say this really quick. Um, I'm more excited about seeing the personal growth that takes place in people's lives than I am the health transformations in this business. Okay. And I never thought I'd say that because I have to have unique products that fill a real need or I don't want to be in business. You know, for me, it's all about being a social entrepreneur or nothing. Social entrepreneur is filling real needs in the community. That's what our business is doing. And I hope you create abundant wealth and prosperity and you do, you know, the need is so great. I hope you kill it and you're making a million a month. Right. But, uh, but for me, the most exciting thing is in the process of filling needs is how we grow and develop as people. And I like that this serving li is living is going to give us an opportunity to use um, the skills that we're developing and how we're growing this business and take that and go serve in a third world country. Um, and, I, and I realize that Costa Rica, you, even though you hear about people going on vacations there, there's a lot of needs there. It's still third world. Um, and that's one of the questions I ask them about, you know, over there, is this really still third world? And what are the needs? The needs are great. And we're going to be able to take our skills, our talents, our abilities and go there. And it's like what we're learning in the business will benefit the benefit us, what we're doing. And then what we're doing there is going to benefit the business as we come back and serve people stateside. Um, and I think a lot of the, the impact is going to be on us as much as it'll be hopefully on other people as well. And look at my laptop. It's about to bite the dust. Hang on. Um, I got to plug it in. Uh, so, so ex I'm excited about that. Um, but I'm also excited about what it'll do in us and what it'll do in others. Okay. But, I, but I'm also excited that for some, for some of us, this is going to give us a much greater why, you know, m for me, okay, this does not need to be everybody's, but when I got in this business, it was about freedom freedom to be able to serve, freedom to be able to go wherever I felt God called me in my life. And one of the things I realized is there's some great opportunities out there, some great income opportunities, but they didn't have freedom. And to find freedom and filling real needs in the community, real needs, to find both of those was like, man, that's like a needle in a haystack, you know? And to find something that you're growing and developing and working with like-minded people and anyone can get involved with it for 75 bucks and there's nothing to limit or keep people out. I mean, you know, when you look at the list of the, of the ideal perfect business, this business, you couldn't find anything that had, could check all of them off. You just could not, it was not there. Um, and, but for me, the greatest thing is freedom to serve. And so you got an opportunity to use your business to actually fund this trip. Let me say that again. You get an opportunity you and I have a fundraising mechanism right in our hands with this business. Even if you never make a million dollars a month, you can go out there, bless people, fill real needs in the community and make the money to pay for the trip. So even with the incentive I'm about to tell you and then, and then, and then you know, close it, except for those who want to stay and ask questions, um, we're not going to pay for the whole trip. Even though uh, Chelsea and I have been saving for a while to help out with this incentive and all, we will, I don't see a day that we ever would pay for a distributor's full trip, but uh, there'd be an opportunity they could earn part of it. But, you know, the exciting part is you can either fundraise um, for this mission service trip, or you can use your business to do that as well. I mean, how many of you have seen bake sales? How many of you have seen car wash set, car washes to raise money for a worthwhile cause? How many of you have seen that? Have you seen that? Can you think of anything better? I mean, nothing wrong with washing cars, nothing wrong with selling, you know, sweets. You think of anything better than filling a real need 
and using those proceeds to pay for a trip that could change your life even more than it changes others, believe it or not, right? Isn't that pretty cool? So, um, you know, that was a, a why for me in the very beginning. I'm excited that others will have the opportunity to participate in that why as well. So here's, though, the incentive that already started, already started January 1st. Alan is paying for the, anyone who wins in his team. He's paying for that entirely. I'm paying for anyone who wins in my team. My parents are, are paying for anyone who, who wins in their team outside of Alan and I. And, uh, you know, that model will continue, um, we hope, in, in, in time. That as other people step up to uh, three Ruby and four Ruby, you know, they're, they'll, they'll want to participate in this. But right now, it's, uh, we're covering everyone between uh, Alan, myself, and my parents that might want to participate in this incentive. So, again, won't pay for everything, but it's a reason to get out there and take some action. And uh, so here's, 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 here's how it goes. We'll pay for um, – the only thing that you can earn is either half or, or full um, airfare expenses. Okay, Costa Rica does cost it. You know, th those flights are not the cheapest flights um, out there. But here's how it works. I'm going to post this on Wisdom Builders later. Step up to Emerald Director or hire for the first time and qualify every month after earning the title to receive 50% of airfare expenses reimbursed. Okay, for you and if you have a second person on your distributorship for, uh, that's, that's, that's on the distributorship, um, then we'll pay for that as well. Uh, take two steps. One must be Emerald Director or higher. You know Emerald's just a consistent director, right? right? So, so become a director and then, and then do that three months in a row. You hit Emerald and then step up again and you can earn 100% of your airfare expenses reimbursed. Okay, isn't that exciting? Nobody ever did that for me in this business ever. It was about me just building the business to pay for it entirely for uh, you know, my... My, my my trips and serving and all so excited about that i'm excited about the relationships too that not only can we serve others can we grow ourselves but to serve alongside other people this is going to be a bonding trip like you've never seen before right um you know if you go with a positive attitude like we take on this business with you know excited to step step outside and enlarge our comfort zone and uh, we step into that with that attitude man we're going to come back changed um, and just closer to each other than ever before. That's exciting. Um, there's a few other details that you'll see under notes on the incentive sheet where uh, if you want to use mileage points, you can do that. Okay. But now let me cover one more thing. Um, last thing is cost. What's the cost for lodging? What's the cost for, um, um, for our projects uh, that we're going to be involved in? What's the cost for food and, you know, and meals? Um, okay. Good news. I've been working on that and I, and, I, and I'm not going to tell you the final price, but I'm going to give you something that help you go ahead and be able to budget and save, okay? Um, besides some things, some drives, fundraising drives that we'll have leading up to it, like trying to maybe get some clothing to take, we'll look at the needs closer to the trip that's right in the community, and we'll see how we can, within our circles of influence, how some of us might be able to step up and help fill some some other needs so that'll be fun to do and to involve others in as well where they can contribute but um, besides those opportunities um, we're looking at about six hundred dollars per person um, for eight days and seven nights I mean that is transportation I mean, I left that out that's transportation that's lodging that's food that is a fun day that we're gonna plan an activity that I'm gonna take care of organizing with this group here. Um, and it's, it's um, now what, what, what could be a surprise for you that could be in addition to that 600 per person? Um, so, so some, some extra surprises could be um, if you, if you miss our transportation, and I'm going to try to really work with everybody. Okay. And this is another challenge. We have people come to different cities, different places, but um, you know, if you end up coming in in the middle of the night and you miss it, you may be looking at $150 a taxi ride to get to Hako, okay? Um, we're also gonna let people take care of their meals when they come in. We even have, there's a place where people can eat, restaurants walking distance from where we're staying. So people will be coming in different times uh, on Saturday. So um, we're not gonna promise that we're gonna do anything that day. The, the, the driver can stop, they'll take cash, they'll take credit card at most of these, at any place we stop at. So you'll be prepared to do that. Uh, we may go out to eat twice at an affordable restaurant where you can use cash, credit card. Um, but if you decide to stay and turn eight days into nine days 
and seven nights and eight nights, we're gonna make that really inexpensive for you because you can stay in the exact same lodging, but meals you'll be on your own, walking distance to restaurants and the beach and everything. So anyway, I think that's pretty exciting. I'll tell you this, I don't know if I should say this, but I'm trying to see if we can get a little better deal for, I know a lot of us, it's another new challenge is we're taking our teenagers with us. Um, some are taking mature middle schoolers. Um, so I'm trying to see if we can work with that a little bit because we'll certainly, this is a serving trip. You know, we're not staying at a five-star hotel and uh, you know, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be creative and figuring out bunk beds. Some of the rooms have bunk beds and, and have a, you know, a cot or, so we're gonna try to have a little better deal for the kids. But the reality is, is, um, is you know, most important to me is to make sure that I under promise and try my best to over deliver, right? Um, so wisdom builders, I can tell you this, wisdom builders makes nothing out of this. If there's any overruns, that'll, that'll bless the ministry that's doing great, great work. I mean, they got everything from, they're, 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 they're helping mothers, single mothers, you know, um, orphans. I mean, they're doing so many amazing things. Uh, I don't even get started, we're out of time. But um, so, you know, that, that's, that's great. But I also realize you guys are sacrificing too. And I told them that. We got homeschool families with big families. And this is a stretch. And you're believing God for big things and great things. And you're, you're, you're committing right now. And you're building your business, the anticipation that, that God will bless that. And you'll be able to pay for the trip. So I get it. So all right. Well, um, I think that's about all for now. I'm going to post it. But I'm going to ask you this. It is first come, first serve. I can't, I can't, and there's a few more details I'm gonna provide on the Wisdom Builder page when I post it. But we really need to know, um, you need to think, you need to make the decision this month, are you going or not going, okay? And uh, whether, and there's gonna be a deposit you're gonna have to put down, you know, whether you decide to go or not. Non-refundable, don't ask for it to be refunded, please. I told you right up front, it can't be. It's part of you burning the bridges, take step into faith and committing and deciding because we're making commitments too that are non-refundable, okay? So um, again, I don't expect this trip. Let me tell you this right, right now. Maybe you guys blow my mind and we have two weeks. We already have 20 people committed, already committed. So we really, for one week, we starting this thing off, we really should not have more than 30, 30 people will fit in the bus um, 35, I can rent a car plus the bus. So I'm expecting that um, we're gonna fill up really quick the first week, like we'll be done. I'll tell you who the families are that um, have already, that they haven't put the deposits down, so something you know could change. <laughs> but um, but I, I believe we already have, my family is five. Again, it's, it's a different kind of trip. We're also taking our four oldest, right? Some of you are doing that. We got the, the Blaines with five, we've got, um, we've got uh, Gary and Shelly Lazone already said, no, we're committed. That's four. Um, we've already got, um, who else? I, I left somebody out that already said I'm in. So anyway, it's, um, you know, you can commit right now, but then you're going to have to give your check here in the next couple weeks so that we know you're serious. And if not, we open the spot up. Okay. All right, Alan, I'm over time. I'll tell you what, I'm good at that, aren't I? Hey, man, um, that's exciting, Josh. That's uh Sorry, did I cut you off? No, no, please. No, so let's let everybody know, Alan, why don't you wrap it up with your final comments, if you would, and then, if it's okay with you, um, I, I can answer some questions as best as I can. Great. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be real quick. In fact, um, I just wanted to say that we're, we're super excited about this, just from Nicole and I's perspective. I don't know how many years it's been, but it's been a few years that it's been on my heart to take my family to a third world country and expose them to that for a variety of reasons I don't have time to go into right now. And to be able to do it with many of you, to be able to do it for all the, bene the other benefits that are even above and beyond my reasons for wanting to do it for years now with that Josh mentioned several of already. Um, I'm just super excited about it. And um, it's just, anyway, I'm just so excited. I hope I'm as good in at Spanish as, as I hope to be by then. Um, but you don't, Alan, let me say this real quick. You don't have to be. I'm learning, and my family's learning Spanish too, but you don't have to be. We'll have an interpreter with us. We're going to make this where anyone can go um, without. Good. You'll be very comfortable. Yes. Yes and no are the same pretty much in Spanish, and smiles are universal. So I agree with that. Uh, okay. So, um, 
really, I don't have any more to say than that. I just want to say that just that we're, we're excited. Um, somebody asked about bringing young ones. I think Josh, correct me, but I guess, you, you know, you, I don't know that there's a limit on age, but that's probably something that, uh, you might want to strongly consider uh, if you're going younger than middle school. Uh, I'll like, comment on that after, uh, during Q&A. Good question. Thank you. So there's, there's something you might want to comment on. Also, I think this was said, but this is a wisdom builders only trip. So this is not open. I know Josh wears two hats, more than two, but in the business, he wears two hats. Um, this is not a corporate thing, just so it's clear. It's only for wisdom builders. Um, so I want to just make that clear the cost, even though the max reimbursement that we'll pay for is a hundred percent of two people's flights, like a his and hers or his and his or hers and hers. Well, or up to, up to 600, up to 600 per person. Thank you. Which, which we can get a round trip. Some of these cities are going to get round trip tickets to Costa Rica for 450, 500 bucks. So yeah, it depends, I guess, where you're flying from, but potentially two people's flights completely paid for. And he already shared with you the other cost of food, room and board, everything else is six, 700 bucks. So for an entire week, very inexpensive. Um, I wasn't clear even on the dates that you said, I don't think that came across clear, Josh. You said you're potentially staying for two weeks, but the initial week, if we don't go over 30 or 35 people is the first through the eighth or that you started no. on the eighth through the 15th, but then you yes. back it up. Yes, thank you. The eighth so through the 15th, that's, that's for sure. If we fill that and we have enough people that are ready to commit and put their money down, then I'll commit to be in there for, for two weeks. So that's June, Over two weeks. <laughs> June 8th through the 15th, 2019. Um, anyway, so we're super excited too. And, and we do plan just so that you all know, we plan to, uh, it's the plan to uh, hire uh, someone who is, or at least have someone not, maybe not hire, but have someone go with us that is a uh, professional videographer so that we can capture this and do it right to come back and uh, well, to have the, have the memory first of all, but also to be able to promote it to the rest of your team um, for the following June and the following June and the following June of 2020 and beyond. So this is kind of the maiden voyage that we plan to be able to market properly for lack of a better word. Uh, or to communicate properly, if you like that better, with video. So that's something that I'm really excited about. Um, the reason for the deposit, I, was the last note I made, Josh, I think it's pretty, oh, two last things. When Josh, you say you're gonna post all these details, I think you're talking about, you're gonna post them in the Wisdom Builders Facebook page, correct? That's yeah. right, that's so right. That's, that's where to look for it. Wisdom Builders, not Wisdom Weekly, Wisdom Builders Facebook page. Uh, look for that when, Josh, later today or this weekend? Some, some details will be posted. Um, yeah, let, let, let's say that. Uh, by, by the end of the weekend, it'll be on Wisdom Builders. Thank you, Alan. I, okay. I, Wisdom I Builders Facebook. Say that. And, and the last more details one. and information will continue to come out, but everything you need to know to be able to make your decision will be posted this weekend. Great. And the last thing I have. And some people have already booked flights and, bake, and, fam, and time off and everything. It's exciting. There's another family I forgot to mention, a pharmacist, an FBI agent taking their four teens. They already, it was a Christmas gift to their kids because they heard us talk about it at the Wisdom Builder Retreat. And they said, hey, we're, we're, we're going. We're, di we're in. Love it. Uh, the last thing I have, and then we'll open it up to, to questions if anybody has any, is um, obviously, I think it's obvious, but the reason for the deposit that we will all, the names that he mentioned will have to be put in in the next week or two, or we potentially miss out on the spot and that's not going to happen. But um, it, it's just because we are, we are limited and we can't, we, we have to know, we have to know in advance who's, who's coming and who's going. And I'm sure there's, anyway, you, you all have invited 25 people that said they're coming to a meeting and had one show up, haven't you? <laughs> that's why. Okay. All right. I'm done. Josh. Any okay. Questions? Josh. Yeah, and let me address a couple you already raised. So, so first, let me say thank you, everyone, for, for um, staying, letting me go long and, and share something that I hope you're as excited about it as I am. And if you're not, I hope that it becomes in time as exciting for you as it is for me. Um, so, again, uh, respect everybody's time. Nobody's being rude. If you got to go, you got to run. Uh, thanks for staying as long as you have. Um, but I will go ahead and cover a couple things and then that you've raised, Alan, and then open it up for questions. Um, one thing, children, 
Okay, like I said, we're gonna figure this thing out as we go together, right? We're, we're a family and uh, we're gonna stretch together and grow together. And um, so I ask you to, um, to really you know, keep that attitude as we, as we undertake this. Um, but I, I, I would, I've talked in the last three years and some of you already have this experience and you have a lot of experience that, that, that I don't have. But in talking with people who do have experience, I would say, you know, some people say don't bring anyone unless they're a high school student. You know, some 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 people who do this um, for a, you know at their full time ministry would say that. But but others would say, and I and I believe this is true that the parent makes the decision. Um, this ministry will support that the parent making the decision. Um, and I would say if it's a middle school child who is mature. And, uh, and, and you have this conversation with them, you know, what, what we don't want is younger kids who are in the, let me give you a picture that somebody painted for me, which I realized made a lot of sense. They said, what we don't need to do is have an exhausted child who is um, sleep deprived, not sleeping well, doesn't like the heat, you know, whatever it is, and all of a sudden, they're whining, they're complaining, they're pitching a fit, right? And the parents saying, Johnny, you better shape up. It's for Jesus now. You know, don't you know what we're doing? There's starving children out here, you know, and you're threatening your child. I mean, I don't know if you've ever done that, but I, I mean, I've done that, right? And you're like, come on, get it together. <laughs> okay, we, I don't think that's really, if you think that that could be a possibility, I think you should leave the younger ones like I am with somebody you know, and really focus in on your children that can really maximize this experience, stretch them a little bit, yes, but that can handle it. So I'm taking Levi and up. Levi will be nine years old, and I'm going to have a good heart-to-heart -heart talk with them about this, you know, that we're going to have fun, but we're also going to serve, and you may be hot, you may be grumpy, you, I mean, we're gonna, I'm going to have a list of everything. I already got a great list to help everyone be prepared um, for international travel, but I'm going to suggest everybody packs plenty of snacks and things like that. So if you, you're not happy with something for the meal or, or you feel like you need, your, you know, you can be happy and your kids can. But my point is, I don't think it makes sense to have elementary age children. And uh, I, I think that if you have a baby, four and under will be, um, if it's the child's the child's an infant, let me say it this way, the child's an infant and, and, and you feel like you need to bring them, we're open to that. Let's have that discussion and um, we're not necessarily going to charge at all. Um, I think that in Costa Rica and where we're going, that may be fine, but I think we need to have a discussion about that if you think you need to. Okay, moving along. Make sure that, 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 you're, that we're all prepared. Um, Christian or faith or lack of faith or, okay, you know, anyone is welcome but there will be an agreement that they're gonna sign and they're gonna to have to sign that they, they understand um, the, the, the ministry that we're partnering with, their statement of faith, and that we can respect that, okay? At the very least, that we can respect that and that no one is gonna behave or act in a way that could hurt their, their, their witness, okay? Their reputation, um, in, in the community. That, that, that's, a, that's really important and only fair to them as a ministry, right? Um, so again, we, um, myself, and I need to find a ministry that could respect this as well. We, again, we, res we appreciate, respect everyone on our, in our organization, people with faith, lack of faith, um, uh, for lack maybe of a better word, but you have to be respectful of them, okay? and uh, of, this, of this trip. Otherwise, it's totally okay if you're not comfortable going. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, why do we limit the, to $600? Because we, we didn't want to create too many rules. And if, if somebody puts on their deposit, but then they wait to the last minute to get their airfare, that's not fair or good stewardship of finances and all. So we put a cap because we felt like everybody should be able to get their ticket for, for if they go ahead and they plan accordingly, it shouldn't cost you more than six hundred. Um, maybe extreme is six fifty, but I don't think so. It shouldn't be more than six hundred, um, regardless of where you are in the country. Okay, um, you may have to drive a little bit, like I'm going to need to in Atlanta, believe it or not. Nashville and other cities are better. Maybe take a little creativity, but six hundred should have everyone covered. Um, and we also uh, we put a limit on mileage points. 
because you know mileage points with some people we know we're thankful for this will be able to go for 300 a flight other people will be more so we have the mileage reimbursement you can see the details is uh is 250 for 50 percent 500 for 100 percent and um that's you know I'm not trying to work the system or anything uh so we thought that was more than fair okay uh let me open up the questions any uh any questions from anyone Josh, a couple that have been written in um, yeah. real, real quick. Um, let's see. So oh, I missed. Oh, the pot. Do you know yet what the deposit's going to be per person is the question. Um, no, um, no, but I think it's going to be, and we'll finalize that here too. I think it should be, I think it should be half. Um, but if there's, I'm, I'm open to, a discussion on that but it's got to be significant enough it's got to be significant enough that we don't have people back and out um we, we so you already you already said it well enough earlier so it's going to be at least half i think all the other questions i see written down were answered so i'll open it up to anyone else that has questions yeah marjorie did you mean to raise your hand half and non yes i meant to raise my hand Okay. Um, I'm driving, so, okay, so I was a French major in college and spent a summer in France, and I cannot tell you what a bad reputation Americans can leave when they complain. So this is a very serious thing when Josh talks about the children you bring, but not just children, but teens and us complaining about their soda is not cold or or there's, or there's not enough ice, or the bed's not comfortable. It needs to be a commitment of zero complaining, or you might as well not go. And it's serious, because I cannot tell you, the, I mean, I, this is France, where we're not talking about a third world country. And so, and people still complain, seriously, I mean, and I had a French person tell me, you're different. You're not complaining about like the other Americans. So you can have a profound impact by not complaining and being cheerful. So oh. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but this is really, really serious. Okay, that's it. That's well, great, Mom. Thank wonderful. you. Wonderful. Which just goes right along with the, the skills we're already you know, working on developing ourselves and developing in our children. So I, I love it how it just goes hand in hand. It's all about enthusiasm, attitude. So it's awesome. And by the way, this city, you can look up Hako, obviously. Pretty, a lot of needs, but also a div, also it's, it, it does not feel like a third world city. Hako doesn't, um, even though the, the needs there are great. So Josh, did you say exactly what the project will be? Um, you know what, and that's a great question. The projects are, they want to make sure that we're, we are, they keep some flexibility and that I don't uh, commit too many details um, and that we have a, a group that's, that's willing to um, flex with us on some of those projects because they try to be very responsive to the, to the needs at that time in the, in the community. Like they would, and I really like this about them, they, they'd rather not say, Hey, we're going to go do a construction project, and we'll do it. We'll do one regardless. You know, um, they don't want to go fix up a rental house that they're just going to lose six months later just because some Americans came over and said that's what we want to do, and we got money to throw at it. So, um, so you know, we're going to start off like Sunday afternoon, for example. Will be a um, will be a, and we want to make sure that anyone is comfortable with this. Okay, so we're going to have some. Um, modified move for somebody who, who, who's just not comfortable. But we are going to walk the city, get to know the city Sunday afternoon after we go to Horizon Church. By the way, the church will be in English. So everybody's going to know, understand the service. And man, I love this. What I experienced of this church and what their big heart for the community, I love it. And I, I'm like, anyway, I don't want to overpromise anything, but and I'm kind of a skeptic and I had lots of questions and met with people and tried to find out more about the leaders and who they were, but, you know, and just really dug, really dug in as much as I could. Um, but anyway, the, uh, I'm looking for something to show you, give you a little better idea. Um, um, so like in the afternoon, we're going to make sure Sunday's not too strenuous. 
Uh, we'll go to service. We'll um, go do a prayer walk in the community. Um, some, you know, who are, who feel led can, can be bolder than others, and, and others can can get can get the experience to walk the city and and get to know the needs, um, learn about the work they're doing around the city. Um, we'll have uh, a property project more 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 than likely on Monday where we're going to be involved with a, some projects, um, some needs. Um, we're going to do that for these two days. Um, the 12th, we're going to do a community outreach event where we're going to go into a, 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 a area where they are regularly invested in doing and, and serving the kids and doing camps and doing like a VBS, um, like a vacation Bible school kind of deal. Um, so, and we're going to have opportunities for people again, recognizing people at all different levels and experiences, but playing with the kids, um, doing kind of a BPS style thing, uh, on a Thursday, we're going to have a free day all day. We're going to go do some activities, um, get to know the outside of Hako. Um, and then on the 14th Friday, we're going to do a, some morning work preparing for our afternoon surf club. And they call it, I forgot, called Surf Club. But the beautiful thing is it's going to be great for you surfers, but it's also going to be great for everyone because we're going to grill hot dogs and have beach games, and we're going to invite the community out for this, and we're going to help out with providing the hot dogs and the marshmallows, and we're, we're, going, to, we're going to take care of that. Um, and then on Saturday is um, – or excuse me, no, on the 15th is when uh, we depart – unless somebody decides to stay over on Sunday, and uh, which case, fantastic. I, I will probably more than likely stay till Tuesday um, and uh, with, with my uh, three oldest. <laughs> um, okay, next question. Hopefully that answered it a little bit for you. And that's something that's been a little bit challenging too, is making sure that we do activities and community stuff that really can wor work for everyone, whether they're experienced in missions work or not. But I wanted, but I also wanted to be with the ministry that's really doing work in the community and is carrying it on long after we're there. I mean, they have everything from a pregnancy crisis center um, that they, they, they really have become, and guess what they're also doing? Okay, I, this is this, you hear something crazy? They asked me, they said, would you, would you guys be willing to maybe, is there anybody that would maybe teach a class on business um, while you're here? Like we have a business school. One of the ways we're reaching out to businesses in the community, we put together a whole directory. We're doing events for the businesses because we're asking the businesses that, you know, the city's thriving in part due to prostitution, right? Underage sex, trafficking and stuff. It's really sad. Okay, there's a lot of money coming into the city through that. So, I mean, and there happen to be sensitive, which is a whole other discussion for another day, but how they go about rocking that boat. I mean, they're not afraid to rock it. In fact, the girl who started this ministry, she, she came from uh, the West Coast for a mission project, interested in cross-cultural missions. They told her in the group, stay away from Hako. It's all about prostitution and drinking and, and all that. She said, wait, what? Shouldn't we like want to go there and help out? She so she went right in the midst of it. She moved into it. I said, was there any church or anything going on? Nope. There's my cassette player. We'd meet on Sundays around my cassette player for church. <laughs> and then it's a whole other story how the church started. The pastor that came there is crazy. Um, so anyway, now they they're partnered and underneath this this uh, Horizon Church, which is a non denominational church, and just again doing great stuff. Um, but what was my whole point in saying that? Oh, so one of the ways that they're fighting prostitution is it's coming in and working with the businesses and showing them like, Hey, do you want your kids to go into prostitution? Let's find other jobs. Let's help create industry within the city. And so by serving now, let me tell you whether you're a fan of this or not, they are, and we'll sign an, a statement saying that we understand that they are unashamed of the gospel. They, they're all about serving and helping, but ultimately, whether you want to share the gospel or not, they are about, they believe that Jesus is, is the solution, okay? And so they're, they are bold about that and giving a cup of a cold water and giving a meal and helping children and all and doing it in Jesus' name.
So um, anyway, but so they asked me about the business class. Is that crazy? I'm like, you had no idea. You have no idea. Yes. Um, let's let's pursue this one step at a time. But absolutely, I love that you guys are have business classes for business owners in the community, and we have people more than qualified to help out. But we want to learn more about the needs. We want to learn more about the city. So we're you know we're really scratching where the they're itch, you know. It called yeah scratching where the itch is at right you don't want to come in and teach you know a whole bunch of theories and things that really aren't going to be a blessing to them so we need to get our get our sleeves rolled up get in the community and then uh, continue to partner with them but this has been going on for for over 10 years her their heart for uh anyway i'm afraid i'm going on too long okay next question Again, don't, don't feel like you got to stay on the call by any means, but uh, I sure appreciate seeing the interest of everyone here that has stayed, even though I'm sure there's places you got to be. Okay, we've got a couple people that raised their hand. Kate, Kate, you want it? You have a question? Kate McCauley? I don't know if that was a mistake hey, or I'm not. Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning my tech, but um, All right. this is awesome. Very exciting. Um, is there a question of uh, neonatal life getting into Costa Rica as far as shipments and um, acceptable? They'll, the government accepts it, you know, all that kind of thing, the legalities? Um. That's a great question. Um, we are, as, as you indicated, we are not in Costa Rica. We are not in Central or South America. Uh, and will we ever? I hope so. I hope so. Um, don't, don't know, don't know, and don't want to, uh, to, um, over speak on that at all. Um, there are no immediate plans for that. Um, however, I, I, I will share this with you. Jerry Brassfield, when Kendra and Jerry asked me to join corporate, um, Jerry did make a comment that I won't, at the right time, I won't let him forget if, it, if I feel led. <laughs> um, and he told me, he said, I know you were headed to Bolivia and you were involved with supporting some orphanages over in Bolivia. And uh, he said, you know, at some point after we've, I'm gonna use my words, you know, I've been faithful, you know, at home to, to build Neo Life and expand it in the English and Spanish speaking communities that, uh, that hopefully that we can go there. Um, the other mission place that I went to, I didn't take any samples or stuff because I, you know, I wasn't, we're not there, we don't do business there. And, um, wasn't thinking about that, but of course the need is there like it is everywhere. And one of the couples that are involved in full-time ministry, she has all these stomach problems. And of course, you know, none of us could, could hold, withhold good when it's in the power of your hand to give it. So I was like, oh man, I, you know, I'm just enough for me to have enzymes and beta just at every meal. But, um, here, let me give you, give you a, a, a part of mine. And I did. And would you believe they have been following up nonstop. We got to have more of that. My wife, she, he's like, I felt better on Pro Vitality and everything. I gave a few of those too. He's like, I felt better, but my wife, for the first time, she could enjoy the holidays and enjoy eating with the family, and her stomach issues are gone. You're like, hey, we've always wanted to have a way to support uh, uh, being in ministry. Is there any possibility? And I said, you know what? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe. So anyway, he's trying to figure out a way. They're going to have another missionary bring product into them, um, which could get confiscated on the way in. No guarantees. So anyway, that's the answer. Marjorie, is your hand still up uh, by on purpose? No? I can lower it. There we go. Got it. All right. Is this just for promoters, or do you have to be a certain rank to go on your own dime, is what Lacey Duggar is asking. Great question. Not at all. It's first come, first serve again. Um, and I fully anticipate that I should say this again, just so there's not any hurt feelings. I fully anticipate that some, you know, like me and different things, you know, that I want to do and I wait to the last minute. <laughs> Chelsea and I wanted to go to the passion conference uh, that was open to all ages last night, the worship night. And I waited too late. And sure enough, like I was a <laughs> days looking at it talking to Chelsea about it and I missed it and the tickets were gone and this is for this is certainly gonna they fill five arenas in in the state of Georgia at that conference if you know what I'm talking about crazy but anyway I, I, could, I would have never imagined it had been sold out in this overflow place 
but that's going to, I hope that happens here and I fully expect it will. Cause you know, again, we already have 20 and they say 25 to 30 is a good number. Um, well, but, uh, because their facility isn't finished either. And Jeff Pena wrote in and he said, Pena family of five are in. Again, we all have to put our money uh, ourselves, myself included, where our mouth is. But if, if everyone who's already said verbally, you know, we're probably, like you said, up to 2025. I um, just wrote it down. There, that We're at 25 now. Okay. There you go. Um, and Lacey's, to be even more specific, Lacey's question is um, any certain rank, meaning I think what she's asking is. No, club member, promoter, any, anyone is welcome. And I'll tell you something. I won't get into it now, but I have a big vision that I, that I believe that God has given me. And I know we'll, we'll wait to, you know, a day at a time and, and wait on God to, to reveal it all. But, but, but I really have a big vision of where this is going to go and how this is going to impact not only my family's life, but just countless other families. And, and I pray that it will have as, um, a similar impact on the community that we're going to. But one of the things that I have learned really slow for me, which is not surprising for many of you, one of the things I've learned about serving trips like this serving mission, whatever you want to call it, is that really the impact is greatest on the people that go. And uh, my, my, my prayer, though, is that we will impact a community in a long-term way, um, but I know it's going to impact us. And I'm really excited about this thing growing and having multiple weeks throughout the year. And, um, and maybe one day, you know, we even have full-time staff in, in the ministry side of this that's helping to coordinate this and and facilitate this so that we can do this to the best of our ability. In the meantime, you know, I'll be working on it with some volunteers with the ministry. Um, Erica will help me out some. Um, by the way, if you um, if you want to go on this trip, I'm going to ask you to email. For now, I'm going to say just email Erica at Erica C at us.gnld.com. I'm a, I'm a bit overwhelmed with rallies and everything right now, and I don't want to overlook any emails, um, and I don't want to, I don't want to um, take on more than I can handle. So I'm, so I'm going to let you, uh, I'm going to try to respond to Wisdom Builders when I do that post there and answer the questions with the flyer we'll post and check that periodically, Alan, with your help and mom's help. Make sure we address questions there. But um, if you are, if you want to email and say, hey, we're committed, we're in, uh, Erica can help me keep up with those numbers. In fact, hang on a second. Let me think about that. Um, I'm not prepared to say that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, comment on the Wisdom Builder post or tell me right now and you're on the list. Okay. So some of you have already done that. Um, but, and then... I'll provide the link and the opportunity to where you put your deposit. Again, anybody who cancels, we'll give, we'll give the, the money will go toward the ministry. I, I mean, I think that's obvious. This is, is not going toward wisdom builders or um, it'll go toward um, the great work they're doing there. Um, Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Anybody else have any other questions? I, I appreciate it. all the work that uh, Josh has put into this, and it's been a, a lot, a lot more than he could communicate or would even try to communicate over the last, gosh, probably close to a couple years. So finally, it's been a lot more than I thought it would be just to get to this point. I'll say that. Long term, I, I expected it to be a big undertaking, but I did not expect it to be so hard to get to this milestone. <laughs> But, you know, it sure was exciting to see how it all came together. It seems like, you know what, by the way, I hope it's an encouragement in some way to y'all in every area of our life. I've discovered the business is that way, life is that way, and the sooner we accept it, the sooner we find peace and uh, gratitude and, um, and, and success in accomplishing what we feel that we're called to do. Um, but I, ex I didn't expect it to be this hard, but... But I also expected that I was like, man, this is just normal. It's par for the course. I was like, I bet at some point in time when I least expect it, it's all just going to, I got to keep pushing, 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 pushing. <laughs> and at some point, God will bless that and reward it and it'll all just fall in place. And um, it was kind of crazy, as I shared with you, how the location came together. And, you know, who knows? Maybe a year from now, we discover we're supposed to be in a different spot, but it sure does feel right where we're going and I'm really excited about it. And I have a long-term 
plan to be there. But I want to hear all y'all's input too, because we're a wisdom builders and we're a family. We can't wait for others, just like in our business to step up and lead. We got to make a commitment, you know, and step up and lead with or without anyone. But um, so that's where it starts. But we do this together as a family and accept all the all input and suggestions. And uh, but we don't expect that we can make everybody happy. Somebody's got to step up and say, here's where we're going. Here's what we're doing. And uh, you're welcome to come. And and uh, we, but it, it won't be everything to everyone, but we'll certainly listen to everyone. And Alan, thanks for being there with me and some others um, that really deserve honorable mention, like uh, Gary and Shelly Lazone, um, Bart and Cassie Gant have really been praying with me and even been on some conference calls. Bart has been. He spent a good bit of time in Central and South America, and he's – He's been involved in that. In fact, his name isn't on the list yet. So I'm sure he's probably takes us to, well, actually, I think he already committed. So I got to check with him. I think he takes us to um, close to 30. We'll add two more. Looking like we're going for two weeks, isn't it? <laughs> add two more on there, Josh. Joseph Stininger and his son are going. He just wrote in a few minutes ago. Okay, Joseph Stininger. That's, that's two. Okay, and you know what, I'm – I believe I have to uh, check with Bart as soon as I get the phone to see if he did already tell me. I, I got to check with them. So that it may be at 29. Um, but you know what? Like I am, if, if, if I need to, I'm going to rent a car. So that gives me another room for five. So, and just follow behind the bus. It won't be as much fun being in the bus with everyone, but, but I'll do that when you can get to 35. <laughs> Hey, we can so, handle an hour and a half apart since for, for seven or eight days together. <laughs> um, good point. Yeah. Good point. It right. won't be as much fun listening to you sing on the bus, though, Alan. That's true. That's true. I've been practicing, too. Any other questions? Any other comments or feedback? At this point, you know, it doesn't even need to be a question. Thanks for staying with us. If you have any comments that you want to share or anything, please speak up. I'm just really excited for the opportunity to go serve and to do something like this through a business. It just makes new life that much more exciting to me. So thanks for all the work and heading this up. And I am going to be finding that deposit immediately. Awesome. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Thanks for being a part of it, Joseph. Agreed. Anyone else? Okay. Well, Alan, do you want to close it? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for all for staying, and we'll see you next Friday morning, hopefully, same time, same place, for uh, to hear from Jeff and Elvie Pena being interviewed on how they put up 91 Achievers Club points in their very first 90 days in business. They signed up October 1st, uh, 19 of those points in the last day. So look forward to seeing you next Friday. Have a great weekend, and um, see you soon. Thanks for being on the call.